obviously a, a tough one there. Uh, kind of fell short by six there. Uh, was able to score 28 points in the, in the fourth quarter, but we got down too much in the, in the third there to try to overcome that deficit. So uh, we just got to do a better job. I'll, uh, I'll take any questions that you guys have. We'll start with Anish. Coach, yeah, you just touched on this, um, just the third quarter. You guys kept it close um, in, the, in the first half. There were 10 lead changes. Uh, then there was some inconsistent shooting. Uh, what do you think happened in that second half offensively um, that you guys could change going in the future? Yeah, I thought the second, the second and the third quarter, we shot in the 20s percentage wise. And that's kind of when we, we had a chance to kind of take control of the game. And they, they got up by four at halftime. And then we were chasing them pretty much the whole second half. So we just got to do, do a better job with that. Next, we'll go to Alex. Hey, Coach, uh, can you can you talk about the team's kind of defensive outlook today? I mean, I, I, I noticed that, you know, things were a little bit tighter uh, in the first half. And they were in the second. The, and because of that, Florida State was scoring a lot more uh, in the paint. Can you just talk about um, whether there were any changes made on defense uh, or any of that? Yeah, I thought we were doing a pretty good job uh, with points in the paint. Uh, and obviously, they came out right away in the third quarter and started pounding the ball inside. And then uh, later in the third quarter, early in the fourth, they were just attacking us off the bounce and kind of hurt us with a few ball screens as well. So well, I just got to do a better job with that. Next, we'll go to Mike Curtis. Please use the raise hand feature if you have questions. After Mike, we'll go back to Alex. Hey, Coach Reed. Thinking big picture here, there's four games left in the regular season. Um, I know you have a tight rotation of six. Um, do you think Ebony Walker will be coming back this season? No, she will not be. Uh, may I ask what the injury was? His medical is uh, was in our notes. Okay. All right. Thanks. We'll go back to Alex and then we'll go to Anish. Yeah. What do you make of, um, I guess, kind of, in, especially in the first half, the improved uh, defensive rebounding, especially, um, and kind of how, you know, Tisha and Alasia really helped with that and obviously uh, using that to kind of help out the transition. Yeah, I thought we did a really good job on the defensive boards. They only had like six offensive rebounds in the first half. So we we competed on the on the offensive glass. Uh, we, we even had 12 offensive rebounds to their 11. So I thought we did a pretty good job. That allowed us to be able to get out and transition and run. And that, that was probably our best offense today when we were able to get out and run and transition. We'll go back to Anish. Time for a couple more questions. So if you have one, please use the raise hand feature. Um, yeah, Coach, Tisha was working in isolation today. And it, it, that worked a lot against Pittsburgh, um, but didn't work as much today. Uh, was that the plan going in to keep getting Tisha in isolation? Um, and how do you think she performed? Yeah, I thought I thought we spread the ball around trying to get everybody involved. You know, Tisha's a good one on one player and she got in there and she got some shots that that she normally makes. She just didn't make a few of them tonight. So I, I, I can live with that. I can live with her aggressiveness.